Good morning everyone, welcome to another vlog here on the World of Coasters. Today it is super early, well I say super early, for a theme park day it's super early. It's currently about 7.30 at the moment. Um, we're it's at the day. Oh, it's, oh okay, well we got here at 7.30. Uh, we're at the Legoland Windsor Resort and we're here oh, God, for a here. VIP event. Oh, uh, we have uh, got tickets to go to Lego Mythica for two hours before the rest of the public. Yeah, but it's not, it's a double VIP event. It's not yeah, a proper they, one. They, they had like a, like a celebrity VIP event for YouTubers and all influencers and all that. Yes, they were not popular enough for that, but we paid for our VIP <laughs> event. <laughs> Uh, anyway, we're walking down to the hill train now. We're going to be going around Lego Mythica. This isn't going to be a full vlog. This is going to be looking at Lego Mythica, um, getting on all three of the new rides there, and uh, just having a general look. We're here with Lewis and Lucy again today. You can you can miss out on that. He's bought his refillable mug. I forgot mine, so I'm going to be buying a Lego Mythica limited yeah, edition one. one. There's a story behind this. Because last time we came here for about 30 minutes, we yeah. bought one. Yeah. And. Uh, now deeply regret it. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to open this on the hill train and we're going to see what's inside it. Alright, so let's have a look what we've got in here. Apparently we get pop badges and I've seen a few lanyards, so hopefully we get a lanyard. Look how cat candidly I open a letter. Alright, so in here we have a couple of little pop badges. We have the skyline and the skyline. <laughs> wonder if we get different ones. Well, yeah, they are different. They're two, two different. Is it just them two? I don't know, we'll have to see what Lewis has got. It's we then them have already. wristbands as this event gives us fast track until midday, so that's not a bad deal in itself. It's going to be really busy to it's sold out. So once we've been in this area, fast track on all the other rides till lunchtime. And then, what have we got here? Looks like a little puzzle book and all of that. Yeah, Luke will definitely be doing yeah, that. Be filling all this out. <laughs> no pen though. Yeah, so Every yeah, time. just basically things to do, and I think this will be like your welcome letter that tells you uh, what to expect. So, basically, just gives you a rundown of what you can do, what your fast track includes, and all of that stuff. So, let's get these wristbands on. I still got my full shark one on from last night. <laughs> So we're on our approach to Lego Mythica through Heart Lake City. What's the first ride going to be, guys? Skyline. Skyline. Sky it's got to be. It Skyline? Flight of the Skyline, the first See, flying theatre in the UK. I'm not on that. So uh, we're just coming up to the marquee now. You get some shots for you as we go in. Right. So here we are. Our first view of Lego Mythica. The marquee is absolutely amazing. Like, look at this. They've been very, to car factory, Luke. Very <laughs> impressive. Yeah, got all their balloons out. And uh, we're going to get on our first ride of the day, which is going to be Flight of the Skyline. So we've got the drop towers here. They've actually got some LCD, uh, LED screens in the top of them, which is quite impressive. Uh, here we go. Look at this. That is an impressive facade there. Massive Lego Skyline. Hopefully not too long a queue to be in the day. We'll jump on this one, Flight of the Skyline. Mega excited to get on this one guys. Good level of theming. That is a ginormous statue out there. And the facade ain't too bad to be honest. Obviously when they were building this, it was Project Rex and a lot of people thought it was going to be a clone of the Lego Movie um, ride, which is um, Fight for Bricksburg, a Battle of Bricksburg. Good to see in the queue, they've got the social distancing fences up. There is theming on these walls as well. It's just like the, the cardboard stuff, but it looks pretty good. Hopefully we won't be waiting too long to get on this one. Got the screen up here, and we've got some Lego models around the side. Looking pretty impressive though, you know, it's a pretty standard cattle pen. Probably going to have a 15, 20 minute queue for this, but hopefully it won't be too long. We've got the Lego walls along here, obviously due to COVID restrictions. They're not full up at the moment, but uh, you can make yourself some Lego designs on here. The queue fills up quite quickly, but I'm pretty sure when we get over here, it's just into the boarding gate. Right, so we're just about to go to the boarding gates. We've only been waiting about five minutes at the moment. We'll probably get a few rides on this this morning, won't we? Um, but yeah, mega excited for this one. We've all been on a flying theatre other than Lucy. Lucy, you haven't been on a flying theatre, have you? Do you know what a flying theatre is? There's a side corner to play Okay. So you roughly know what you're going to be experiencing. 
it's a pretty good experience. Um, we've been on, Lewis has been on Flight of the Volatarium, no, Flight of the Volatarium, the Volatarium at Europa Park. Myself and Louise have been on Soaring at Disney World, and we've been on, uh, what's one of the Flying Dreams in Ferrari Land. Um, so, I don't know whether this one's slightly different. I think the dispatch on this one is kind of, it spins rather than goes out, but we'll, we'll soon find out when we get on the ride. So, not long to wait now for Flight of the Skyline. So five minutes and we're in batching. Uh, they have obviously a high class here on this, it's over a few levels. So yeah, I think we're going to have the whole road to ourselves. Um, but we go through those doors and we'll be taken to our various levels. So make her excited, we'll give you a review when we go on the ride. as you go even deeper into this parallel world where your Lego creations literally come to life. Everyone, meet Bits and Bobs, or Bobs for short. <laughs> Bobs. No, we're not doing tricks. You see, someone just like you created Bobs, or rather built him with Lego bricks, and then incredibly, he came to life here in Lego Mythica. In fact, all the amazing, fantastical creatures you made from Lego bricks, like a two-headed sea monster or a flowery rhinoceros, transform to living, breathing, full-sized versions of what you dreamed of and built. Can you imagine that? But there's a problem. Lately, the levels of imagination that fuel Lego Mythica have been running low. We need you to be inspired to imagine and build creatures to flourish in this world. You're about to meet Maximus, our special friend of the majestic skyline. Maximus has invited you to travel with him on a journey further into Lego Mythica. Hopefully, we'll be lucky enough to see the mysterious fire and ice bird. But beware the four-headed chimera who lurks across the land. He's known to be a bit snappy. Oh no, everyone can't fly like you, Bobs. Instead, we've created these special seats. After you board, Maximus will pick up the gondola to take you as far as he dares. So before we begin, I'd like you to notice the number you're standing on. Do you have your number? Good. This will be the same number as your assigned seat on the gondola. No, Bob's not inside. You know the rules. Rules are super important, especially when traveling to a wild world you've never seen before. So please pay attention to these safety instructions in preparation for your journey. For the enjoyment and safety of all our guests, we ask that you please follow the guide. Once in the correct boarding area, please stow bags and loose items in the provided compartments. Any loose fitting shoes, such as slip-off shoes or flip-flops, should be removed and left in this area. Please find your assigned number and take a seat. Be sure to fasten your seatbelt by feeding it through the center loop and then inserting in the buckle on your left. Sit back comfortably and keep your arms at your side at all times. You are now ready to go. Thank you and enjoy your flight with the Sky Lion. If for any reason someone does not feel comfortable continuing on this flight, a guide can show you to the exit. And for those who choose to stay, remember, every mythical creature built from Lego bricks comes to life in this world. Some kids have built creatures that are a bit scary, but don't worry. You're with the Sky Lion Maximus. He'll keep you safe. You don't need to ride a gondola, you have wings! Hey Bobs, how's about a rainbow? Hello. Hello. Sit back, hold on, and enjoy your incredible flight with the sky.
come off of our first ride on Flight of the Skyline. We had a bit of a technical glitch. It broke down for about 10, 15 minutes just before we were going on. Um, uh, we're now going to go get our complimentary lunch. The other rides in this land, obviously we got the Fire and Ice Freefall Tower and uh, the refurbished Squid Surfer, which is now a Hydra ride. What did you think? Of, what did you think of the experience? It was good. It was good. What did you think, Lucy? Yeah, it was good. Lewis, any reviews? Compare it to the volatility. Has it like changed position? No, still same. It's just different. Because same. I feel like it used to you be used to be able to come behind it. What did you think of like, the Skyline? Oh, yeah, it was really good. It was, it good. was really good. Uh, as they go, like the, the only letdown for me was the Cattle Pen Q. Like I felt they could have done better. After riding the Volatarium at Europa Park, the theming is amazing on that. So this is the Hungry Troll restaurant where we'll be redeeming our breakfast. Some amazing models around this area, theming all over the floor and uh, some brilliant statues. Right, so breakfast is being served in the pizza and pasta place, not the Hungry Troll. So we're going to go in and grab our complimentary breakfast. It's just a light breakfast and then we'll get some more rides done. <laughs> So we got our complimentary breakfast, which actually isn't too bad. So we get a That's choice of a sausage or a bacon roll. There's a Tropicana in there. Uh, not Tropicana, in this movie, Juice. And a pan of raisin and a pan of chocolate. And you could choose. And by the looks of it, you could have just had as many as you wanted. Because the woman said, how many do you want? I was going to be like 10. So we're going to eat this and then get a ride on the Squid Surfer ride or the Hydra ride now and uh, hopefully get back on Skyline before the end of the event. So we've breakfast down, we're now heading back into Mythica and uh, we're going to be going on a couple of the other rides. We're going to hopefully get back on flight of the Skyline before it opens to the public. Uh, we're not too fussed about the SPF drop clouds as we've, as we've done those in um, Portons Park. Uh, they look amazing, but they're nothing special. Like we, we want to get this one done because it will probably get a really long queue. Expecting it to be super busy today. Um, you can see around here they've got a play park, which this could be seen during construction of this area. Um, but it looks really impressive. And one other thing that I haven't mentioned, the soundtrack sounds absolutely amazing. So, we're going to be going on Hydra's Challenge, as it's called now. There's a brilliant statue of a Hydra here. Um, looking absolutely amazing. And that's operating both sides of the ride. So hopefully this should just be a walk-on, and uh, we'll see you when we get off the ride. So, hotel entry is the same around here. There's a little stand around here. Right. Hydra's Challenge. Looks like it's had a whole repaint along here. It looks really good. Like, this rock work was looking pretty faded before. So uh, it's good to see that they've uh, put a lot of time and money into this. The old bricks inside the wall looks pretty amazing. And uh, yeah, it's going to be a walk on for this one, guys. So we'll see you when we get off. Right, so we've just come off of Hydra's Challenge. Just a refurbish of the Squid Surfer. However, they've really retargeted their sprinklers or the uh, buttons. So you can press buttons on the side which set off these water cannons. And as you can see from Louise. My hair got soaked. You're soaked. Uh, yeah, a really good refurb of that ride, love in there. Uh, the only other attraction in this area is the are these little SPF drop towers. Uh, we might do that when the park opens. Yeah, we might do them when they open, but we're gonna get back in the queue for flight of the skyline before the event ends. Uh, there is this creature encounter through here. And the creature encounter, uh, there's no one in there at the moment. They're just about to open the park to the hotel guests. Uh, so we're going to get a second ride on Flight of the Sky Lion. Uh, this is absolutely incredible. Like, I do prefer uh, Volatarium at your own pub. But I think that's just because the queue's fully themed and it's totally fully immersive. But this statue of Maximus the Sky Lion is just brilliant. Look at it. Right, so because everyone's made this their first ride, uh, there's absolutely no queue for it now. Uh, so we're going to be basically getting a walk-on on this, which I can guarantee it won't be a walk-on later, as the park has sold out today. So enjoy this empty queue while you can. One thing I didn't really focus on on the first walkthrough, there's actually all these statues of the various uh, creatures. There's old Maximus there, and uh, a little flying unicorn picks and box. Uh, I'm not going to lie, when this queue gets up to capacity, it's going to be a good hour, maybe even 90 minutes. Queues outside, of course, and then you've got this whole cattle pen area. There's no cut crews on this, which is a bit of a shame. Right, so I won't bore you with the same pre-show footage again. Uh, we'll see you when we get off the flight of the Skyline. Let's go. 
So that's our second ride on Flight of the Skyline done now. It's very good, isn't it? Like, it's definitely an experience. Not the best one out there, but it is a good addition to Legoland. The area is now open to hotel guests, so it's going to be busy and up a bit. Uh, we're going to try and get on the uh, little bounce towers over here by SBF Visa. Uh, Lewis, you're not joining us on this no, one. No. So we all saw what happened. At, uh, oh, yeah, you had to get stapled. Yeah, <laughs> so, do you want to get some off-ride shots of us? Okay, okay let's get on the, uh, I don't know what this is, the Fire and Ice Drop Towers, here we go. So, Luke, what's the comfort like? Uh, well, it's actually quite nice, these bucket seats, these things have to be a nice tree. Oh, well, maybe I could have got on this too, Luke. Oh, right, it's a three-clicker on this one, just for them uh, the thick boys out there. It's still really starting to busy up now, this land. All the hotel messed up here. So as Luke was pointing out, we got the uh, nice addition of the LED screens above, which is uh, something I've not seen before. Here we go. Hold on tight, and enjoy rising and diving with the amazing fire and ice encounter as you saw when we came in the land they had a puppeteer with uh, bits and bobs or whatever his name was but it's closed at the moment they have this uh, little creature creation area which looks like you can just build lego models in here uh, so you just like come up with your ideas it's got a nice mural at the back i'll just pop a face mask on and we have a look inside so yeah here it's just your, your standard lego creation so it tells you some of the ideas so you can make a dragon or rainbow rhinoceros it's pretty cool there's bases all along here back here there's a pretty cool mural with the whole of lego mythical land Right, so that is our coverage of the Lego Mythica area, the VIP event that uh, has just occurred. What do you think, Lou? Are you happy with it? Yeah. It's, it's a good. brilliant addition. Like, uh, that area was a bit nothingly. Obviously, they had the squid surfer there, but it was a bit like that was it. Um, so the addition of the two new rides, absolutely brilliant. And I the feel like they are lacking some toilets in this area. Yeah, right? that's what we were just thinking, uh, we thought earlier. So uh, the nearest toilets you have to go all the way over to Heart Lake City, so maybe could have added some, but maybe they didn't want to plumb them in. But overall, brilliant land. If you get the opportunity to come down here, definitely do. The Flying Theatre is a brilliant attraction, a great addition to the park, um, and it gets a thumbs up from us. Uh, any, anything to add to this? I think so. Obviously, they've tried doing like the AR things like that, which I've not used yet. I know you covered. We that used it in our last vlog. Um, well, it's just the overall good area. What do you think, Lucy? Very good. Right. Anyway, we're going to end the video here. Uh, I'm not going to vlog today because I literally got a vlog out last week from Legoland. So uh, we're going to go enjoy the park. Leave a like. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button, and we'll see you in the next video. Until then, bye.